G'day everyone, Adam here from Benito Boats. I just want to give you a quick walkthrough of a 5 meter Benito Center console. So, due to some unforeseen circumstances, this one's come up for sale um, and is available for immediate delivery. As you see it, or you can supply your own trailer and have the hull only and supply your own motor. So, this trailer is sitting on a 1500 kilo Aussie alloy aluminium I-beam trailer. So, uh, more than enough for the five meter Benito. So just before we jump into the boat, let's go into a bit of our construction. So our tanks are all survey rated. We use survey rated fittings. Our tanks are uh, pressure tested before we put the floors down. So uh, we know that they're perfect. And then we have um, got full composites construction. So we've got fiberglass stringers and composite floors and transoms. Uh, so up in the bow, some unique Benito features. You've got the Benito bow roller and the keel guard down here. So great for running up onto the beach, that one. And then we've got beautiful non-skid decks and recessed cleats all around. So beautiful boat, really ergonomic for when you're fishing. Um, none of your lines are gonna get trapped on your cleats. So before we get into the boat, I'll show you the transom. So this boat's fitted with two transom steps and handles. So really good for getting on and off the beat of off the boat at the beach or getting back onto the boat. Then underneath here we got the scuppers. So five meter bonito here is fitted with a self-draining deck. So uh, really great safety feature um, when you're crossing bars. Water just drains out straight away. Coming up into the boat. Now we'll go up to the bow first and we'll work our way back. So we've got no cast platform in this one. So tons of room for crab pots and tons of room for casting for GTs. And then we've got a nice big anchor locker here. So really easy to get to, really ergonomic. Nice big bullhorn cleat there to tie your anchor off to. This boat's fitted with an electric motor mount. So perfect to mount your encoder or motor guide to. Again, here's your recessed cleats. So. Fold up, fold down, absolutely beautiful. And we got the Benito non-slip floor, so this is really grippy. And um, finishes the boat off absolutely beautifully. In the, the super heavy duty, so when you get home, you can just hose it out, give it a brush, and it'll come up as good as new after a day out in the water. Um, we've got a nice big anchor, oh not anchor hatch, sorry, a big hatch on the front of the console here. So actual access all your rigging. So it makes that super easy to get to. We've got nice, big, heavy duty 316 stainless steel grab rail fitted to all our consoles. So makes it super safe uh, when you're out on the water. Something nice and sturdy to grab onto. Then we've got the windscreen fitted to this one. This is the large console. So you can flush mount a 12 inch Simrad in here, which is the, I believe one of the largest screens um, in that 12 inch size. Uh, your steering wheel goes here, electric uh, switch panel here, and your binnacle control here. Our consoles are fully fiberglass together, along with our hulls and decks. So you'll notice there's no screws on our boat. So everything's screwed to oh not screwed, fiberglass together. So, so we've got one, two shelves in this one. All our boats are fitted with two shelves uh, in the consoles. And we've got two rigging tubes. The front one goes to the bow and to your anchor logger for your electric motor mount. And the back one's your rigging tube for your motor and all your electrics and your steering, etc. Uh, down the sides, we've got side pockets in this one. We've got one on the port. Oh, one on the starboard here, sorry, and one on the port. So these are all fiberglass to get the hull. So again, super heavy duty and super strong. And then you'll notice up in here, I'll just show you. There's no need line, every hulls are joined and fiberglass together. Uh, we've got a recessed cleat here, um, cleat, sorry, cleat here. And um, battery isolated switch here. And then coming down to the back of the boat, we have got bait tanks. So we've got one on the port's uh, starboard side here, a uh, white one, and then on the port side we have got a nice big blue one that helps keep your liveys going strong out in the water all day. Recess fuel filler here. Nice. That one. And we've got a 150 litre under four fuel tank in this boat. So really great range on this one. And uh, speaking of range, you'd expect to see um, upwards of two and a half to three kilometers per liter in terms of uh, efficiency. 
and the 5 meter is rated to a 115. So, for example, with a 115 Mercury, you'll be able to hit speeds of 42 knots. That's just a normal one, let alone the X, um, the Pro XS, which is even faster. Uh, 150 Yamahas are very similar as well. You're seeing north of 40 knots. So, awesome speed and really efficient. Uh, coming down the back, got a really nice freeboard height. So, 600 mil. So, you can get right in the corner when you're fishing and it feels really stable and secure. It's coming around the bow again. You got beautiful freeboard, uh, which makes it feel nice and safe. Then down the back, you'll notice you got your drains for your self-draining uh, deck for your scuppers. And we've got a pad here for your uh, live bait tank or for your deck wash. Again, uh, this boat is available. So if it's something that interests you, um, please let me know and um, we'll sort something out. Anyway, if you have any questions about our boats or um, the 500, 560 or the 660, please let me know and um, I'm more than happy to answer them. Cheers, we'll see you out in the water.